Okay, so proceed naman tayo, class, with higher order derivatives. So, higher order derivatives. Consider the function y is equal to f of x, the derivative y prime, or f prime of x, or the derivative of y with respect to x, or dy over dx is called the first derivative of f with respect to x. The derivative of the first derivative is called the second derivative f of f with respect to x and is denoted by any of the following symbols. So we can use any of these, okay? So y double prime, f double prime of x, the second derivative of y with respect to x, or this one. I know. So again, the, deriv uh, the second derivative of y with respect to x. Ngayon naman, ganun din naman dun sa third derivative. So, kukuhaan naman natin ng derivative yung second derivative. Okay? So, again, we can use any of the of these symbols. And then lastly, in general, the nth derivative of f with respect to x is the derivative of the n minus first uh, derivative and is denoted by any of the following symbols. Ayan, so, yan. So, kahit alin dito sa symbols na to, ay nagde-denote ng ating uh, derivative. Ngayon, class, again, uh, kapag kinuha natin yung first derivative, para makuha yung second derivative, kukunin natin yung derivative ng first. Okay? So, pag kinuha yung derivative ng first derivative, makukuha yung second derivative. Kapag kinuha yung derivative ng second derivative, makukuha natin yung third derivative, and so on. Okay? So, yun yung process ng pagkuha ng higher order derivatives. To make it clearer, sige, magbigay tayo ng mga halimbawa. So, example 1, find the fourth derivative of the function. Ayan, so f of x is equal to x raised to 5 minus 3x raised to 4 plus 2x cubed minus x squared plus 4x minus 10. So, para makapag-arrive tayo sa fourth derivative, unahin muna natin kunin yung first derivative. So, first derivative nan is f prime of x equal yan sa 5x raised to 4 minus 12x cubed plus 6x squared minus 2x plus 4. Paano nakuha? So, uh, first derivative lang nito. So, kung bagay, baba mo yung 5. 5x raised to 4, subtract tayo ng 1, 6 ponets, so we have 5x raised to 4, minus 3 times 4, we have 12x, and then subtract ng 1, 6 ponets, we have 3, plus 2 times 3, 6x, subtract ng 1, 6 ponets, we have 6x squared, Minus, ayun, so, 2x. Okay, 1 na lang kasi exponent na ito kasi 2 minus 1, 1. So, kahit hindi na natin isulat. And then, derivative ng 4x, of course, is 4. And then, derivative ng constant is 0. So, ayan na yung first derivative. Ngayon, ang hinahanap is fourth derivative. So, ituloy natin. Kunin naman natin yung second derivative. So, the second derivative or f double prime of x is equal to, ito naman ang kukuhaan natin ng derivative. So, we will have 5 times 4, we have 20x, 4 minus 1 is 3. So, 20x cubed minus, kasi 12 times 3, 36x, 3 minus 1, we have here 2, plus 6 times 2, 12x, okay? In derivative ng negative 2x, we have here negative 2. Deri derivative ng 4 is 0, so hindi na natin isusulat. Okay, next, third derivative naman. So, third derivative, kuhaan natin ang derivative or i-differentiate natin yung second derivative. So, ito, third derivative natin is 20 times 3, we have 60. X. So, 3 minus 1, we have 2. Third, negative 36 times 2, we have negative 72. X. Ano kasi 2 minus 1 is 1 na lang. Plus, derivative ng 12, X, we have 12. Derivative ng negative 2, of course, is 0. So, ito na yung third derivative. Ngayon, Let's proceed to the fourth derivative. Okay? So, fourth derivative naman ng function natin is equal to 60 times 2, we have 120x. Ano kasi 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay, so 120x minus derivative ng 72x is 72. So, ibig sabihin, ang fourth derivative natin ng function is equal to 120x minus 72. So, that will be our final answer. Okay? So, sequential. Ano? Kung hinahanap sa atin ay fourth derivative of the given function, edi kunin muna natin yung first derivative ng function, uh, second derivative, third derivative, papunta sa fourth derivative. Okay? So, next tayo. 
Example 2. Ayan. So, let y is equal to 3x plus 5 all over x squared plus 4. We are asked to find the second derivative of y with respect to x. So, second derivative naman. So, kunin muna natin class yung first derivative na to. So, we're, we're going to use the quotient rule. So, dy over dx is equal to low d high. So, kopya yung nasa ilalim times derivative no nasa taas. Derivative ng 3x plus 5 i 3 times 3. Ano? Minus high d low. So, high, kopya yung nasa taas, which is uh, the quantity of 3x plus 5 times derivative no nasa ilalim. So, derivative ng x squared plus 4i, 2x. Okay? All over low squared. So, i-square lang natin yung nasa ilalim. So, we have the quantity of x squared plus 4 raised to 2. Okay? Next, simplify natin to further. So, we will have 3 times x squared, 3x squared. 3 times 4, we have here plus 12. And then, uh, yan. So, negative 3x times 2x, we have negative 6x squared. Negative 5 times 2, we have here negative 10x. All over, okay, so kunin natin yung uh, quantity of x squared plus 4 times the quantity of x squared plus 4. Okay, kasi naka-square. So, equal lang yun sa x raised to 4 plus 8x squared plus 16. So, pwede kayong mag-foil method para makuha yung product. Ano? So, yan na yung ating first derivative. So, derivative of y with respect to x. Ngayon, pwede pa nating i-simplify yung nasa numerator by combining like terms. So, we can actually add ito, yung 3x squared minus 6x squared. Kunin natin yung difference. So, equal yan sa negative 3x squared. So, derivative of y with respect to x is equal to negative 3x squared minus 10x plus 12 all over, copy yung denominator, x raised to 4 plus 8x squared plus 16. Ngayon, class, uh, pinapakuha sa atin, pinakukuha sa atin yung second derivative of y with respect to x. So, first derivative pa lang ito. So, para makuha yung second derivative, kukuhaan naman natin ito ng derivative. Okay? So, hence, Second derivative of y with respect to x is equal to, ganun ulit, low d high, so low, kopya si low, times derivative ng nasa taas. So, we have negative 6x minus 10 minus, o yan, take note ha, the quantity of uh, low d high minus high d low. So, high naman, kopyahin naman natin nasa taas, negative 3x squared minus 10x plus 12 times derivative naman ng nasa ibaba kasi d low, ano, so high d low. So, derivative na nasa ibaba, we have 4x cubed plus 16x. All over, e square naman yung nasa ilalim. Okay, over low squared. So, the quantity of x raised to 4 plus 8x squared plus 16 raised to 2. So, let's simplify this further. So, we will have ito. So, the second derivative of y with respect to x is equal to this. So, isa-isahin natin class. So, una, ito munang negative 6x, i-distribute natin. Uh, yan. So, i-multiply natin sa lahat ng terms sa loob ng parentheses. So, we have negative 6x times x raised to 4. We have negative 6x raised to 5. Negative 6x times 8x squared. We have negative 48x cubed. Negative 6x times 16. Uh, it will give us negative 96x. And then, ito naman, itong negative 10. So, negative 10 times x raised to 4. We have negative 10x raised to 4. Negative 10 times 8x squared, that will give us negative 80x squared. Negative 10 times 16, that will give us negative 160. Dito naman tayo sa second. Ano? So, distribute natin itong 4x cubed dito sa loob ng parenthesis muna. Okay, so 4x cubed times negative 3x squared, that will give us negative 12x raised to 5. So, take note lang sa meron tayong minus na operation sa unahan nun. And naka-enclose sa parenthesis to. Itong buong expression na to. Okay, next. 4x cubed times negative 10x, we have negative 40x raised to 4. And uh, 4x cubed times 12, we have uh, positive 48x cubed. Dito naman tayo. 16x times negative 3x squared, that will give us negative 48x cubed. 16x times negative 10x, that will give us negative 160x squared. And then, 16x times 12, that will give us 192x. Ngayon, class, sige, um, simplify natin further. So, distribute lang natin yung minus sign. 
dito sa lahat ng terms dito sa loob ng ating parenthesis. Ngayon, notice na pwede na nating uh, isubtract ito. So, 48x cubed minus 48x cubed, 0 na yan. So, hindi, kahit hindi na natin ito isulat. Okay? So, sige, distribute natin. So, we have negative times negative, positive 12x raised to 5. Negative times negative, we have positive 40x raised to 4. And then, again, ito ay 0 na. So, negative times negative 160x squared, we have positive 160x squared. And negative 1 times 192x, that will give us negative 192x. Ano? Next, all over, copy lang natin yung denominator. Ngayon, combine like terms tayo dito para mas mas simplify. So, ano yung mga pwede natin uh, i-add? So, negative 6x raised to 5 plus 12x raised to 5, that will give us 6x raised to 5. And then, doon naman sa negative 10x raised to 4 plus 40x raised to 4, that will give us positive 30x raised to 4. Negative 48x cubed, copy na lang. And then, negative 80x squared plus 160x squared, that will give us positive 80x squared. And then, negative 96x minus 192x, that will give us negative 288x. And then, copy lang natin yung negative 160. So hence, the der second derivative of y with respect to x is this. It is equal to 6x raised to 5 plus 30x raised to 4 minus 48x cubed plus 80x squared minus 280x x, eight, sorry, minus 288x minus 160 all over the quantity of x raised to 4 plus 8x squared plus 16 raised to 2. So this will be our final answer. So with that, here's the list of references that we used in creating this presentation. So, sana meron tayong bagong natutuhan today. And it's the end of the video and thank you all for watching. Bye!